my God. Carly, stay back, please. Oh, Dusty, my God. No, no, he's, he's alive. He's alive. His pulse is weak. He's lost a lot of blood. Where, where is he hurt? No, I, don't, I don't know. I don't want to move too much until the paramedics get here, but it looks like he's been shot. Oh, no. Dusty, you got to stay with me. All right, listen, can you, can you grab a, a tablecloth or a towel or something so I can try to stop the bleeding? Here. I'll call 911. Thank you okay? very much. This can't be happening again. Not again. It's Craig. Oh, what did you do now? I'm fighting for my life here. Excuse me? Someone is trying to murder me. Dr. Oliver, where's your suit and tie? Call me old fashioned, but I like to operate without him. You know, saves on dry cleaning. You forgot, didn't you? We have a meeting with the architect of the new wing today. We have to sign off on the preliminary plans? Yeah, well, let the architect wear the tie. He's the one who has to impress me. You can't go to a meeting in scrubs. Okay, fine. I'll change my clothes. I'll head over to Lakeview, and I'll meet the guy. Well, I'm going with you. Oh, of course. You know, I know how concerned you are about the placement of the stereo taxi system. I mean, tell me, do you prefer the gamma knife or the cyber knife? Mm, I'll let you know. I can't wait. Look. This meeting is about the entire layout for the new wing, which you couldn't afford without my money. Good thing you reminded me. Hey, let's not forget, you're the one who asked me to be a part of this, not the other way around. So I've done my research, I've talked to a few neurosurgeons. <laughs> like who? Well, I'm sure they're inferior to you. But they were civil, so that's an improvement. Civil doesn't do anybody any good in the OR. Well, this meeting isn't in the OR, so you're stuck with me and I have a few suggestions. This way. Let him work, Jack. What do you think happened? Who would want to shoot Dusty? The cash register's open. Could be a robbery gone bad. Got a DOA detective? No. No, they're working on it. The guys can be fine. If you say so, sir. Get outside and seal off the perimeter until CSU gets here. I don't want a dozen pair of boots trampling through here, contaminating my crime scene. Go. Now! This is, 50, this is 51 Alpha at the scene. Uh, we'll be transporting a GSW to the head. No exit wound. Uh, massive blood loss. We're gonna need a neuro standby. Over. Hey! Somebody there? Hey. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Are you okay? You're alive! Yeah, lucky to be alive. Margo. Yeah, yeah. That okay. was Carly. She told me the dusty dog. Donovan, Donovan, I know. I just got the phone call. I'm on my way to Mormon Oil now. I'll go with you. Really? 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 Because if you really feel that you were being threatened, I think you need to stay here and give your statement to a detective. It'll take a couple of hours and then we'll start an investigation. The thing about that is, you know, I am starting up this new business. I'm working very long hours. I'm not getting a lot of sleep. There's just so much to do. And you know how paranoid I can be. Oh, I do. I do. Yeah, it could just be my imagination. Craig, next time, take the stairs. Let's go. A lounge is a waste of valuable space, and we need every inch. Look, if we do this right, we could have the number one neuro facility in the Midwest. So save the stuffed animals and the video games for the peds department. Have you ever been in the waiting room when somebody you love is being operated on? It's hell. There's nothing to look at. There's nothing to eat or drink. The chairs are uncomfortable. All you can do is stand there and think about the fact that behind those doors, your entire life could be changing and there's nothing you can do about it. It's awful to feel so powerless. They are powerless. No, they have to be there for their loved ones. If you say so. Why don't you get it? If you want this to be a state-of-the-art facility, you need to treat the whole patient, and that includes their support team. It's just basic humanity. Well, I'm not giving up lab space so we can provide neck massages and a kissing booth. Why does Memorial need another lab anyway? A patient can have all the CT scans in the world, but I never know what I'm gonna find inside his skull until I crack it open, see for myself. If it's a tumor, I have to slice off a piece and send it off to the lab so that they can tell me what I'm up against. The longer the brain's exposed, the higher the risk. Therefore, the shorter the distance to the lab. It's gonna be late. 
and we're stuck. Fabulous. Okay. Hello? Hey! We're stuck in here! Well, you should calm down. I'm sure they know about it. Yeah, if I was in Dallas, I'd be sure they knew about it here in Oakdale. <laughs> What's the deal with this alarm thingy? I don't know. It's landmarked. The elevator's landmarked? No, the entire building is landmarked. The elevators are temperamental, but they're safe. They get inspected constantly. Why do you know all this? My mom's part owner of the hotel. I should have known. Is there any bit of this town that isn't part of your family's portfolio? Well, you know what? I'm not going to apologize for the fact that my family has money. And you need to remember that it's that same money that's getting this hospital wing off the ground. Well, as if you'd let me forget. I can't believe this is happening to me. Hey! Hey, can anybody hear us? There are two people stuck in this elevator. Is anybody out there? God, I knew this town was cursed. Hey, security! You're really freaking out. Leave me alone. A little help would be nice, you know? You have a phobia of elevators? Oh, don't be ridiculous. I just, I don't want us to be late for that appointment. Well, it's like you said, the architect works for us. Yeah, you no know, way. We'd be there by now if you hadn't started going into all your kumbaya suggestions. <laughs> Dr. Oliver. Just leave me alone. Wow. You are seriously claustrophobic. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't uh, like tight spaces. And here I thought you were invincible. Are you scared of spiders too? <laughs> Okay. Wow. Wow. Don't worry. I wouldn't dare of bugging you out. I mean, imagine if this entire elevator starts shaking. And then we crash to the bottom. Okay, no. And then we are crushed by these four walls Wait, closing in on us. Stop. It's not funny. <laughs> oh, I think it's hilarious. Hey, do you want us to be smashed to pieces? Stop it! Wow. For someone with nerves of steel, that's pretty extreme. Admit that I'm human. That would make your day, Mr. Snyder. Be a start. It's gonna be great water cooler material back at the foundation, huh? Evil neurosurgeon who cracks up in confined spaces. Why would I tell him that? Is it the hospital? Yes. 911. That is a neurotrauma. God, I gotta get out of here. Hey, hey, hey. You gotta take care of your hands if you're gonna use them to save someone's life. Yeah, if we don't get out of here soon, it might be too late. Don't freak out again. No, oh, okay, fine. Yeah, no problem. All right, um, Dr. Oliver, you you need to focus. Um, think about some place that you like, some place that makes you feel safe. Where'd you pick up this load of crap? The magazines at your dentist office? Well, does it matter if it works? You know, it's just a bogus pop psychology. Well, do you have anything better to do? Like, put your fist through the wall and ruin your career forever? Yeah, not to mention ruin your mom's elevator. Oh, don't worry, you'd get the bill. You know how stingy rich people are. Okay. Okay, I, I, I have a place. Okay, well, what is it? Doctor, what is the place you're thinking of? It's the brain. Thank you. Uh, well, if I told you it was this green meadow with tadpoles and dancing cows, you'd know I was lying, so... Well, is it any brain in particular? Yeah, I don't know. Each one's different. They're all amazing, though. It has this tangled mass of gray spaghetti. It's totally alien. It's not much to look at to the naked eye, but it makes us walk and talk and think, it's remember, smell, love. It produced the Sistine Chapel, you know, chocolate, theory of relativity, Godfather, parts one and two. Not so sure about three, but it's working. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I feel better. Is everybody okay in here? Oh, yeah, we're fine, thank you. All right, just tell the architect we're gonna have to reschedule.